Not seeing it personally. Hmm. <laughs> what? Fortunately, they're still really slow at colonizing. We need to make the most of that. That's exactly why I decided to go for native repression. Get them up as fast as we can. Can't you build cannons, Jake? I mean, I could probably build one cannon. Do I want to, though? I probably should, but I'm not doing so right now. Uh, I'm going to annex these two provinces off of Mutapa because they're still pathetic. And Timbuka is also not worth knowing. Hang on, how did they get that? Used to be tropical. Oh, used to tropical. Our people are accustomed to the climate and environment in this province. Why don't I get that? Well, granted, the land down here at least is temperate. But this stuff is tropical. That's an event colony. Well, it's kind of good because it'll bridge us over here if we ever need to go there. I don't, but maybe I will. Livestock as well. Still, Marava, you're going down. I could share knowledge for money, but I actually don't want to. Because I want to keep it for myself. That said, a bit of extra dosh, inflation-free dosh, is rather nice. So what can be done? These people won't want it because they are neutral and non-allied to us. And then there are these guys which are outside of our range anyway. There it is. However, more places are going to be in my range and, to make matters better... <laughs> feel strange saying that instead of t saying to make matters worse. Uh, our explorer, Ilko, is still alive. So please, pretty please, explore something of value. Hmm, the South Atlantic is tempting because I can find out more about France's movements, but the Eastern Indian Ocean coast could also be useful. Because then I can learn about this. coastline first because it's faster uh, that's right your guys you guys are meant to be slaughtering Moravi and I'm bound to get that tech up in fact I'll get it next year because this cost will go down easy just as I said I was hoping I could punch something out of here to get it even better uh, good Ajuran's back on the rampage they expanded north quite nicely I, however, am their only ally, so I hope that... Uh, oh god, their ally Yemen's getting pounded. Ajuran could not work for me as an ally soon enough. Not that they've really been working much for me at all, but still. Something about having and not needing. Menace from the Andamans. Yeah, I could do with that prestige. And how do we spend that prestige? By drowning Ziri. Well, it's not drowning. We're simply throwing them into the coast of Manabe and hoping that they can make the swim over to Angoshi. Come on, all the famous uh, rulers here can do it. But Ziri could not. Fortune smiles upon us. You're right, the text does bring a smile to my face at times. He had six years to practice, that's quite benevolent, yeah, compared to the other ones that we've had. Okay, Tech 9 is enough to slaughter you. Um, again, I don't really want... Do I even have a claim on you? Oh, right, that's going to be a limiting factor. Now i got to deal with all of you, but I don't need to deal with whatever Karagagwe is. They'd probably be a right pain. What will also be a pain is you guys coming in and destroying my land. So I think I'll be in position to slaughter you first. Ugh, I've lost the claims that I want on you as well. Maybe I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I don't need the... Um, I don't need prestige so much anymore, unless another heir comes along that just begs to be dealt with. Forts really suck in this part of Africa. Yeah, it's hard to block off anything. There's so much coastline. Okay, great. You explored it, and you're still free to check out the South Atlantic Ocean. There's Palembang. They decided to remain a sultanate. It's useful for me. I don't want them raiding my lands. 
and I will eventually get over there. It's a bit out of our reach for now, but once I've sealed off French expansion into my land, which is one, two, three, four, five colonies away, plus another one, two, three, four, that should really keep the French out of my face for a long time. Or so is the plan, at least. Uh, let's get this dealt with. Maybe I didn't need to give it the autonomy there. Ajuran's reconquering off of Adal. Adal are limited in friends. But Ethiopia still... Oh no, Ethiopia's fallen behind because they had a crummy Solomonid and an even worse one upcoming. Whereas you are on the rampage. I knew I was right to keep Ajuran as my long and trusted ally. Let's ensure that their trust is nice and high. You started early enough that they're most likely to go around the other way or use trade company land purchase to get there. Trade company land purchase requires um, colonial range as well. So if they can purchase, they can uh, they can use the range. And also, I have this coastline, so the closest they to get is Ajuran, if Ajuran's even in this. Hmm. One province of it is. And if they did that, I think I would immediately gun down France for the province. What are they going to do? Land with their... Uh, how, many, how many cogs you got there, France? Fifteen. Come on. Easy peasy. For a guy like me who's keeping up in tech, despite uh, the insane costs of dumping all my points. Why is this still the wrong... Oh, right. Let's not make this mistake. Where are my colonists? I don't want to recall you. I really don't want to recall you, but I will. You only update the culture if a colonist is there, so I need to send the colonist to change it. Goodbye, admin. You could probably afford to beat France in the high seas, yeah, but I want Tech 9 before I start investing in heavies. Otherwise, they're going to be really outdated really fast. And we'll get there. We have a reasonable enough uh, dip coming in. Shame about the legitimacy. How does it keep going down? This is madness. Okay, East Indian Sea as well. Get going. And once you get there, you will switch this to the correct culture. Damn it, I want Cape done. I want that extra development on Cape. It's coming along so well. It should get at 21 months, 90 a year. Regardless, once you're there and you've changed it, I'm going to send you back to Cape because I really want it done. Uh, what is this? This age has seen a few individuals with a tactical mind to rival that of our illustrious chief. It's a wild bunny the first. He's revolutionized the way we approach the battlefield and we foresee many great victories in our chiefdom's future. They're contemplating writing a book on his methods. While it would help us spread the knowledge and military tactics within our own army, it would surely reach our neighbors as well. Mill power, everybody else gets tradition. To not share this progress would be a crime against mankind. Besides, my ally benefited from that. Mm, nothing really to worry about here. Nothing even worth thinking about. Maybe war taxes will be come handy. Your guy has two different plus one military personality things. Yeah, bold and tactical genius. I wonder, if I were to get a general from you, how good would they be? Potentially extremely good. It's not like we have a lot of army tradition ourselves, and I could do with some leadership here. Four, three, two, two. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. Pretender rebels want to rise up again. Oh, what kind of pretenders are we talking about? Because something happened to our uh, our dynasty. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Antanosi. Yeah, that's the one I just took. Intolerance is hurting there, as is legitimacy, as is overextension. But converting you would take forever and a day. And cost an arm and a leg. I think I'll leave it be for now. I don't mind paying over and above for military leaders right now, although I can't think of a use for our esteemed conquistador right now. Mm, war 
walking around Pasai, maybe, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, if we know about what Palambang slaughtered them? How in the world did Palambang defeat Majapahit? Well, let's not question it, let's just acknowledge it. Firstly, though, I want to steal a few more maps. Hmm, how much do you know about Indonesia? Quite a bit. Good, I want to know about it as well. Damn, Palambang. Not sure if you'll hold on to it forever, but that's excellent knowledge to have. Right, I'm going to pull back on you and instead spy on Palambang or one of these guys. That's a nice Katai for reconquest. It's an alright Katai for reconquest. However, you don't need to pay full cores for these lands, so it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to conquer them like that. Do you know about the magic of Vassal Madurai? Is it perhaps, where are they now, the fact that they have a gorillion cores on rich land? Because I know that. But again, it would be reconquest uh, for full cores when you only need uh, territorial cores in trade company regions. Sunny development territory. Hmm. I might even just burn it down, frankly. Make it cheaper to convert in the in the long run. Cheaper and a bit faster. It says only like sixty odd ducats to get it done. Take forever, but sure. What doesn't? With that, I think you're out of stuff to explore. No, more about the coastline there. Well, go for it. Might as well use it while we have you. Uh, I have my four colonies, but the cape will soon be done, and that's going to be a spiffing cape. 18 development. Make your claims. Yeah, I already have two claims, so I'd need a bit more to get the others. Sweet Jesus, what does it take to have an air that doesn't suck? Can't even get rid of this one. Ah, oh, man. Alright, Darth Air, let me down. Continue to let me down. Two, uh, and weak again. There's some seriously bad DNA going on with our royal family. That's how many terrible heirs to one agreeable heir? Oh, hang on. Oh, Ilko just died on us. Well, we had a great run exploring. I strongly believe it was worth the 300 and... 340 dip that it cost us. Uh -huh. Checkmate people who don't think it's that. Jake, remember the eight point strong air? No, no I don't. Let's keep it that way. Whew, what a rough run. I mean, we've played amazingly, but we've had some real bad things thrown at us along the way. France is about to be one of those bad things. With Diplotech 9, they have lots of range. They'll probably jump their jump their way right the way down to here. Maybe they'll take the island, so I don't know. He also had a 6-6 general. Yeah, that was good, but that was all on me, of course. I knew that event would come. Alright, great. We get three extra dev for free on the cape. Need to pay a little to core it, but so be it. 80 admin, well worth it. And I need to make sure this stays in our hands, so I'm actually going to be putting... I want a temple as well, actually. The temple pays off very well. But I need that. No, not the dock. God, no. Marketplace, please. Excellent, indeed. Alright. Sosa. The start of these provinces that I need to take over. I also need some actual defense put in there. This is the big downside of this um, of this policy when taking care of your colonies. <laughs> We're theorizing the French own most of Iberia. Terrifying theory, but rather likely. Yeah, 
Well, it doesn't have to be that likely, but... Alright, that alone bumped up my force limit something fierce. Let's get that claim on Mutafin soil. I want the other claim, and then I'll probably gun them down. Oh, that's right. I wanted to take advantage of the mill tech that I had over these guys. Which means I should strike earlier and not later. But now my troops are scattered around more than I'd like them to be. Did you colonize that west coast province? No, but we will get it soon enough. 4,000 people there, but I might kill them. They're in the wrong place for me to care about. There's a strong desire for me to kill these guys, given the wrong culture that we have in this province. Oh god, for 69 mil, it's a tough one to justify. Alright, the Age of Reformation is here. Just in time to get that bonus on the cape, that feels great. Uh, also, Mutapa, congratulations on your renaissance, I'll need to slaughter you soon enough. I don't think these bonuses help us too much. Batteries are great, religious wars are great, I'm not relying on mercs right now. Trade ships, mm. Institution spread, heavens yes. Oh, that's a thought, right? Colonialism exists, and I've been ignoring it for a while, but it will be creeping up on me. As in, it won't be creeping up on me. Hmm. That's an expensive one to dev push for. Printing press is also a hard one to get for myself. Jake, upgrade the Cape's center of trade as well. That's a convincing argument. It's cheaper for us to do as well, thanks to our ideas there. Development, trade power, institution spread, all good. Can we see France and Aragon's dev again? France has 621. Aragon have 200. Half of their subjects dev at 239. Don't tell me Aragon got the union. That means they have 400 plus, almost 500 uh, development in subjects. Hmm. Hot damn. All the while, we're sitting here doing a whole lot of not much. Well, Adjuran, hold it together. Maybe even win your war there. Whilst I consider how best to act. I still want to seal this whole place off. Despite the high costs. But I would also really like to not have this outrageous amount of uh, inflation. I guess I'll be focusing on admin for quite some time. But I'd like to focus on getting the prestige to drown my air, so maybe before it's a wild bunny pops or clogs, we should... Yeah, that was another reason I wanted to fight, wasn't it? How much to slaughter those guys? Too much. I think it's better to fight Marawi first. Wait, I never got that claim on you. Jings, I'm so far behind to my own thoughts here, it's unreal. Get a claim on you, get the other claim on Mutapa, slaughter you for... Ah, uh, if only we had Comet Sense. Oh, well that's convenient. Now I can slaughter Mutapa with relative impunity. Right, I'm going to add this and give you the edict for... Faster conversion, because it's taking forever there. I'm not going to full core you though, heavens no. Uh, we have a good ruler here, a uh, good general rather, and that's going to tear you a new one. So yeah, I move in, I slaughter you, we get what we need. Uh, I might not even make that other claim, because I'm here to, um, here to get prestige. I'd even remove a rival from you if I thought that would help. These claims are going to be there till 1512. And if I want this extra claim, it costs 35. Okay, I will wait out a bit. It's only a year of waiting to get that. And then I'll take Senna and Zumbo and do other nasty things to you. These guys are too easy to kill. I don't need this large an army. Get out of there. Join up with the main force. Get a single cannon in for good luck. And two more infantry. 
And get that admin power, Hoven. Oh heavens, yes. Although a 50% cheaper level 3 guy is a lot of... I need the missionary strength one for now. Dang. Still, admin is good. Admin is great. Admin is swiftly invested in taking care of the inflate. Although my admin tech probably blows. Every time I push that button, I make a duck it more. Our decision to grant concession to the merchant company has proven to be wise. I did that. Is that something here? I don't know what triggers that. Either way, free money is the best money. Imarine and Pretender Rebels wish to rise up, but that's nothing new. Actually... Hmm, where do they want to rise up specifically? Para Ibuina Mahafali. Those are the places I reduced autonomy because I wanted pretenders, wasn't it? And now I don't want pretenders, even though 433 is pretty good. No, I will slaughter you myself. Pretender might have a better yeah, pretender might have a lot of better things, but I feel like I can't give in to such uh, empty threats. Ooh, money. Melindy might well be worth that money to me. Uh, this event is full of dumb. It doesn't pay attention to the fact that autonomy is caused by the estates. Regardless, though, I do like... don't like the clergy gaining that influence, but I do like getting those ducats. Even though we're drowning in ducats. No, let's not core those up. That'd be a fool's errand. Yeah, the pretenders do have a good claim. Another one bites the dust. Gets its full core. Enjoys the correct culture, and there's no way I'm giving it back that. Then there's you. I have no colonists to send. Where are my colonists right now? There's one here. That makes sense. And then there's one here. You can be recalled with little problem. I do think sending you there is a good idea just to completely lock the French out. It's far too much of an advantage over this province to allow uh, freedom of movement on. Downside is, it's got 4,000 very angry natives. I'll just take a risk that I can wrap this war up first. The culture that you're called from that colonist is still wrong. What, you mean this one? Of course it is. We haven't killed the natives, so the culture is going to be wrong. And I'd rather do that than spend 29 mil killing them. Plus, if I don't kill them, I get an extra 0.2 goods produced in the province. So that's something. Ah, crumbs. Those guys came faster than I thought as well. Unexpected. I was only thinking about the pretenders, and now I eat that. At least they don't kill my... Uh, they don't kill my conversion man. And we get recent revolt there. You need that province for coloured wastelands later on. Now that's an important aspect. Get the province back. Get back. And who knows, maybe we have to deal with the pretenders as well. How many are we talking about? 13,000. Not even worth thinking about. This guy will apparently be done in two years. Sadly, our mission to the New World is also done. Perhaps you could give that to me once again, merchant guilds? They demand charters. I demand my own prestige to kill my heir, so I guess yes, because I really want those um, I'm looking at the wrong people, haven't I? Ah, no, I don't have access to it because I don't have quest for the new world. Okay. Well, that was bad news, so I need... Uh, I need money out of you. Thank you. Make myself feel better.
I also wonder if I have enough cogs. Yeah, I've been on low legitimacy forever, so no, no cure for that. Let's get Zombo claimed. Now I've got claims on everything here. I can go to war. And I probably should go to war as quickly as one can. Slaughter the, uh, the units. Oh, Timbuka won't even help. That's wonderful. Why not? Oh, right, this colony that they got is draining their coffers unbelievably fast. There's still a slight problem that I don't want this land. What could I do with it? I can't spit out Makua because Makua has a core on this province. I mean, I could subjugate what's left of Mutapa, but that's also pretty bad. And I don't want to spend over the odds on... Uh on other subjects here. There's Lundu, which I could spit out with the province of Lundu, and then give them this garbage land. Maybe I'll do that. It's a really good uh, province from Maravi. Does anyone know Lundu national ideas, if they're any good, with, uh, with a view to having them as a subject? Also, Senna's going to be mine. Lunu, uh, Lundu, rather. Someone's got to know them. Well, that was pitiful. Uh, your capital's in Senna, so you've got two siege, in fact. You're going over there. The other guys, however, uh, some there, some here. The majority of them over to Zumbo. Hey, if I take this one as well, then it's another Lundu province. What is a good national idea in this context? Um, hmm. Anything that's not going to have them die to rebels is nice. So, revolt risk reduction, tolerance of true faith. Cheaper armies are good, better armies are good, although they're not going to be fighting, so better armies aren't really a concern. I'll keep them on scootage here forever. Alright, I need some of my units over there to kill the... Kill the reb, uh, not the rebels, the natives. Before they rise up, and they're doubtlessly going to want to rise up, just like those ones did. I don't even get an, uh, a pop-up for natives rising up. I must have disabled it, because it happens all the time when you don't take the be nice to natives option. Okay, manpower... Attrition for enemies, core creation cost? Is that for them or for enemies? Probably for them. Tech. Oh man, we don't need all the all the text, I just need the numbers. They get Zambezi ideas, great, let's just have this up here. 10% uh, manpower, 10% incompatibility, mercenary maintenance, stability cost, that's good. Trade power, that's good, because I'm going to be sucking them dry of it. Uh, national unrest, also good. Diplomatic annexation costs, sadly I don't get. Hilariously, income from vassals. A lot of hilarity to be had there, and good enough, I'll have them as my subject. And uh, I will be able to give them all this land. I'll just have them administrate the Great Lakes and Zambezi, and uh, have, the, uh, have the trade power get sucked into Zanzibar. That should work. I can't think of a reason that it wouldn't. Groovy, we've got you over there. I still have my four colonies going, which seems like madness. Losing 800 sailors is also madness, as in, who could possibly care about 800 sailors? Those pretender rebels. I could probably just get rid of them if I dedicated my army to crushing, um, crushing revolts in those provinces. I'll probably give it a go, actually. As for you, though, I could take everything. Uh, depends how much I want to slaughter Maravi straight away. I'm not sure I'm scared about your alliance there, and I want to start taking this land from you. The downside is I've severely cut back on my army. 7, 8, 9, 10, 15k. What does... What are they called again? Maravi? They got 13,000, but they also have an ally. 
an ally who will defend them. But I think I should just take everything here, then spit out Lundu, which I don't think I have any other cores here, and then enjoy them as my scootage subject forever. This does not give me the prestige that I need, though. I'm only getting 4.5. If I left them alive with something, anything, then I could make them give up their claims and their other claims. Mm, ending rivalry is probably better. Because that gives me five, and that gives me almost enough to drown a baby. This is how generous I am. I'm going to let you keep money just so I can get rid of your claims on me so that I can drown a baby. The lengths I go to. And I'm going to leave you with that one crummy province as well. There we go. All right. It's been great having you here as our heir, Darth Air, but it's time for you to take up the swimming challenge. Any three-year-old worth their metal can do it. But not you. Alright, getting two of these cores going. 